I was probably scared out of my brain by hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm gonna be talking about <laughs> people just making noise i want to talk about um my worst ever auditions okay um if you are an actor you will have your own really really bad ones i mean unless like you just hit it out of the park the first time and then well good for you like that's freaking amazing but um i want to talk about my um my worst auditions so i have like a top three because it's not like the auditions are quick but i just wanted to quickly take you through them and i want to know anyone out there if you've had any like it doesn't have to be an audition like a terrible interview where you left and you were just thinking this is so embarrassing i don't understand why i'm going on for this job that type of thing so my first ever one was one that my agent sent me on i think it was for a play this is years ago and it was for um what do you call this thing i had to do a uh, uh, <laughs> an accent from up north i had to do a yorkshire accent now i don't know if you know what it sounds like well it sounds like this billy's clearly happy okay so i knew i couldn't do it and i said i can't do it and they were like no no just give it a whirl just practice just practice and i went into that audition and you know when you're like you're doing something and you can just feel the silence in the room like you're acting your chops off and you can feel the silence in the room and it is like they're embarrassed for me they're embarrassed on my behalf that's how bad it was like i was saying it i was stumbling over words i think i had to do a reading so it wasn't um you had to learn your lines you had to get them and they give you the script i had to do a reading and i just it was just i sounded i think i sounded more jamaican than i sounded like i was from yorkshire it was so ah I left there and I was just thinking about my life, like, man, is this, like, what's going, what, what is this, why? I know I can't do the accent, this is just really embarrassing. So that's that. Um, the second one is, oh, a drama school one, actually, I just started with that, is a drama school one. Um, I auditioned for, so they've got these NCDT accredited drama schools, you can look that up if you're, this is in the UK, if you're looking for drama schools in the UK, and, uh, or in England, I should say, and, um, um, this is one of them. So I went <laughs> audition. So you have to audition for to get into drama school, basically, to see if you have the raw talent or whatever, whatever. I don't know why you have to audition for that, but I'm sure it's to do with that. Um, so you need to have something that they can basically work with. So I went to audition for this drama school, <laughs> and it was basically three um, old white men, I think, sitting um, at the table to audition this little black girl. And I remember just walking in thinking. I, well, I don't know what you're going to see, Sha. I don't know if, if you're going to see talent or you're just going to be like, because I just feel like there is just no, you can't connect with anything I'm going to do. So I have my monologue set up. Usually it's one classical and one contemporary. So um, I can't remember which one. It was probably my contemporary. So I was doing it. And then in the middle of me doing my monologue to them, they were like, the guy in the middle was like, you slow down. You need to slow down. So obviously already that's gonna, you know, I mean, for me, I think, let me finish and maybe give me some tips and let me do it again. But of course it's, you know, it's like, you know, probably time and there's probably hundreds of people they want to see. So I was like, okay, okay, sure, sure. I'll do that. So I, I slowed down and then I started again and he was like, slow down. You need to slow down. And I slowed down to the point where I was talking like this i wasn't even performing i was just being robotic i was probably scared out of my brain by the old man 
and that's how my audition ended safe to say i didn't get in but i got in somewhere else so bloop to you okay <laughs> the final one oh gosh the final one was to me it felt like x factor right so it was the lion king and anyone and everyone went up for that um if you can hold a tune so i think i got through this so the first there's like rounds like it's not like one audition you have to be able to sing you have to be able to dance you have to be for musicals anyway when you go for musicals um so lion king i was like okay i'll go for the musical this is when i was really doing the rat race of auditioning i'm talking like year 2007 2008 type thing right so they were like um you should uh so you do the song you do a song that you choose and i would get past that stage and then it would get harder you would have to do their own songs or you'd have to do their dancing and whatever ah what am i saying what am i saying it wasn't for the lion king i didn't have to do any dancing for the lion king it was for fella on broadway oh jeez louise fella on broadway in london oh my gosh how could i forget ah i'm just remembering goodness it was embarrassing it wasn't embarrassing it was embarrassing oh my god like honestly it was so bad it was so bad ah how could i forget okay sorry rewind the story i do my audition i, I do the singing i get through that part it's now time for the dancing have you seen fella on broadway okay even if you haven't seen fella on broadway go on google fella dancers the female dancers and see how they're dancing that's the look like i can do the two-step i can whine small but they're dancing you need to know how to dance to do that to dance like that as far as i'm concerned so they now have the person doing the choreography in the front and it's like pa, pa, du, du. Zombie, oh, zombie, zombie, oh, or whatever fella song they were singing and i now realize that oh there's like these people are professional dancers that have come to audition so what the hell am i doing here huh um and um yeah so it was basically you dance 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 i think i go through the first round it must have been a miracle second round dance 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 and then guess what they come and do that thing where they come you know how you see like on tv they come and they tap you and if they tap you it means get the fuck out <laughs> basically so it was like you know so i was dancing dancing, dancing. he was tapping 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 and it was a producer and he'd come in he'd flown in from america from la or something dancing dancing, dancing. and i just saw he was coming towards me i just went i didn't let him tap me i was like thank you i know i didn't get it bye don't touch me i don't need your job anyway i'm straight <laughs> yeah i can't believe i thought it was lion king sorry gosh a lot of auditions it was uh fell out on broadway yeah but i wouldn't i wouldn't audition for any musical now nah look it's like you either have it or you don't i'm not a musical actor like it's not in my repertoire it's not in me um so yeah that's it tv and film i got you <laughs> all right guys well i hope you like my video like share subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next